Um, you right. can do it, yeah. <laughs> Thailand. <laughs> Thailand, Thailand, Thailand. Um, the, oh, quick thing from from Pasta says, the Arabic-like writing is Jowry or Jowry, Jowy script. Uh, some little factoid there for you. Um, yeah, Thailand. Um, notorious kind of party place, I think, uh, is, is is known as a kind of out... Well, I, I don't really know what the opinion is uh, in inside the country, but I know I have plenty of friends who have been to Thailand. Uh, you know, you go out there, you go do teach English for a bit and kind of get fucked up for six months. Um, is is definitely a, a you know a way of experiencing the country. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, plenty going on here. Yeah. And if you're if you're a balding <laughs> kind of uh, overweight white guy, which I think I'm heading towards in the next two to three years. Uh, place to pick up uh, prostitutes and other th- such delights. So, um, it, it's it, I, I like about Thailand is the people are very friendly. So mm. you can see here two ladies helping a guy uh, with the ATMs because yeah. the ATMs sometimes they're too confusing. So like people come help you out. It's it's like amazing place. I love it. That's a really good point. And I think again, yeah, you're right. And in the top top left, we've got. Uh, you know, the, a lady giving some directions there, you know, possibly uh, showing him where, you know, maybe a hotel or a place to stay. Uh, very, very yeah. kind of her. Um, and also, <laughs> the, most a- accurate me- <laughs> the most accurate meme of all time, which is I stroked a heavily sedated tiger. Uh, yeah, it, <laughs> every time you see people do that, it's, it is... Uh, um, rather hilarious uh, they'll maybe post it on instagram with some sort of uh, inspirational quote uh while the tiger is absolutely fucked off its head uh <laughs> so there you go um <laughs> enough cultural yeah. commentary let's have a look at the uh at the information now from a neat perspective um my i'm always mixing up um Cambodia and Thailand every every single time that that's what I'm doing all the time so uh, you know talk talk us through some of these these elements and and uh, I'm hoping um, I can start introducing these and, and start guessing the right country yeah so, so I think the first one is is the way they drive uh, Thailand is left hand drive and, and yeah. Cambodia is right hand drive and uh, hopefully after some images that we have here people are now a little bit uh, better at differentiating the script between mm. Thai and Khmer. Uh, again, I still believe that it's pretty hard to differentiate Thai and Lao, but yeah. with some experience, uh, you can notice like uh, Thai and Khmer are pretty different. So let's use this first sign, uh, the blue sign as an example. As you can see, there's basically no uh, little diacritics or squiggles or whatever under the letters. And every basically every single sentence we, see, we saw during uh, our Cambodia round, there was a lots of little things happening under the text, uh, so yeah, there's there's clearly more towards uh, Lao and not uh, and not Cambodia. Um, the license plates are mostly white, uh, which kind of um, helps uh, separate from uh, from Lao again. Um, they have uh, the, their, their standard road is like this straight uh, w- uh, yellow middle line. That's their their standard road is the most common one. Uh, however, it's very common to have a concrete roads, especially in like uh, suburbs and little uh, rural areas. They never get as wide as we, we saw in, in Philippines. Um, the one that I have this image here on the, on the right is the, the widest I could find. It's usually like uh, on a large suburb of a city, uh, but they are usually kind of not as wide as, as we saw in Philippines. Mm. Um, other things that happen in Thailand is like they're, they're, they love their flags. It's very common to see uh, Thai flags everywhere. Okay. And on the few occasions, uh, on the few occasions that you don't see uh, the Thai flag, you can see the Shakri flag, which I, I, I made a little sign here. Is that the yellow flag? Right. Um, what I believe it happened, I, I think the coverage oh was God. probably done in around like 2016 and 18, and um, it was probably done between like Rama 9 and 10. Uh, uh, so the the, 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 the past and the current kings of Thailand, 
changing Probably places. Like Bumi died in... flag or something like that. Yeah, he died in 2016 or 17, I believe. And yeah, like there's kind of this nationalistic push. Uh, every time something happens. So like probably if you go right now to Thailand because of the civil unrest is happening, you see more people wearing yellow and all this all this stuff yeah. is, 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 is back, right? Uh, so yeah, sometimes you see more uh, Chakri flags than you see uh, Thai flags, which is pretty interesting. Huh. Uh, they have those bollards. It's, it's probably the only country that has like some consistency on bollards yeah. on, on our, our region. This uh, tonight it's kind of this uh, black and yellow ones uh, it's, it's pretty consistent across the country um their their uh, road signs they can get kind of fancy especially on the older cities they have these little ornaments around them uh, they, they vary a lot but it's usually not just a sign a simple sign there's usually some some little things going on around them which is which is kind of interesting um they have kind of, I would say, unique architecture. Uh, the houses are usually have the roof on this shape facing the street. Mm. Uh, that's that's the most common you see, and uh, uh, and the, it's very common to see uh, Buddhist uh, little temples. Uh, on this one is kind of blue on the bottom there, but we we have probably uh, locations to see after. Uh, so there's these little temples they put on the front of the streets. It's, they're mostly gold, yellow, and white. Right. Um, kind yeah, kind of really, unique I, I, to... I do recall seeing those now, now that you mention it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they are kind of unique to this type of Buddhism uh, that I forgot the name. Teran, Teran Vej or something. That they're, they're a branch of Buddhism. Theravana? They have those little... Theravana, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, is, is kind of their thing. And they have uh, both of the latest uh, generations, three and four. Um, yeah, but yeah. the cars are inconsistent or not seen. Yeah, like, that's why we didn't put cars here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I would say it's almost useless. Uh, there's probably better tips than, than trying to look at car colors here. Uh, the yeah. country has, has a, uh, uh, it's not as tough to find a sign as uh, Cambodia, for example. Uh, so if you move, if you are playing a moving challenge and you're like in the middle of nowhere, you can find uh, like one of those blue signs. Or in the worst case scenario, you find a kilometer marker. That uh, I made another slide just for the kilometer markers. Or in oh, the oh, next yeah, there random is village, you find yeah. a Thai flag. And there, there's a. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is like the Thai kilometer markers. Um, when you see around the street, uh, they have those, uh, I call them chickens. And they can need either be blue, uh, black or white. If they're white, uh, you look for the number inside the chicken, right? And that's, that's, that's a very good thing uh, because you can tell the, the region. Um, so if the chicken is white, they would appear uh, on Google Maps as those uh, little white shields. It oh, can be okay. from one to four digits. And the first digit tells you the region. So one is north, uh, two is Isan, three is uh, Bangkok, east and central, and four is south. So um, you, you not only have like a good information about the pinpointing, but also, your scanning region uh, reduces a lot if you if you find a white chicken. But if you find the bottom one, like the black chicken, um, there's also a road name. In, the, in our case here, it's like 2014. Uh, they appear on Google Maps as uh, yellow on blue shields. And they're almost useless uh, because half of them, they don't even appear on Google Maps. Oh. And the other half, uh, they repeat across uh, uh, provinces. And there's like 49 or 40 or 51 something provinces in Thailand. So uh, if you find a, a black chicken, just keep moving until you find a, a white one. <laughs> that's, that's my method. I'd rather call <laughs> chicken eagles, but, uh, <laughs> well, uh, I, I, mean, I actually thought that in the top one, I thought it was like a ghost at first. <laughs> it's just weird, but... You can kind of see them on the little 
on the little white uh, signs on the map, there's like a kind of little black uh, little marker uh, above the number. I guess that is the the chicken eagle. And if you can bird. retie, you even could <laughs> locate the city or the town. <laughs> yeah, like but I doubt like anyone Cambodia. speaks Thai. Learn Thai for Yeah, genius. unlike Cambodia, they are never. I never seen one in uh, in uh, Roman characters. Cambodia, you can be lucky and find one in in Roman characters, but in Thailand, yeah, you're you're unlucky. No. You need to find a blue sign, yeah. Okay, sweet. Uh, I think we've got some locations to look at. If that's all right, no, Ed, you you happy covering off the chickens there? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's enough, I think. <laughs> right. Let's go through these uh, locations. This is apart from two islands, going to be our last set of locations. Um, so, first, let's just check out the the script. Uh, obviously, we're talking um, about that. Um, so, I mean, kind of, yeah. Very round and yeah, as very I round, yeah. talked about it in the Laos yeah. and um, Cambodia um, countries, uh, Thai has circles mm. around on top and inside their script. Yeah. So you always find those small circles everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And eyebrows or coat hangers as well from, from the looks of it. You've got two here uh, and there as well. So. <laughs> Something to keep a, a, but yeah, definitely the 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 roundness is is noticeable. Uh, obviously, and, it's gonna. And you can see on the blue sign. Sorry. This one, this one. Yeah, you can see like the lack of stuff uh, below the text. So like, there's two huge uh, text there, and there's only one character hanging from the letter. Yeah. On the on the on the second word. And and in Khmer, like for every tree, there's a little bit thing of uh, hanging there. Uh, I think that's uh, another great difference. Yeah, I mean, Ka Kalzo made a made a, a point again, and we've said this about the other countries as well. Font does come into it, so you're going to find fonts um, that do differ, that kind of display it slightly differently. So learning the, um, you know, like we we're just saying, like learning some of the more uh, prominent points so about the, the you know the circles obviously not having too much stuff underneath the text um this is going to help you kind of elude those those font issues you might run into um but yeah in general sure, yeah. there's definitely uh, enough information to kind of make a, a difference just about learning it and i'm saying that to myself as much as anybody else <laughs> um so you've got an example of some crazy uh Okay, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, some crazy electrical lines. This actually yeah. kind of looks like the back of my computer right now. Um, they are found Jesus. all over Thailand, unfortunately. Most and they sound, they sound terrifying. The, the, the sound they make of electrical <laughs> arches being constantly... It's terrifying. Like, I don't know, as an engineer... I, I'm pretty used to see like bullshit like this, but the sound they make is the thing like... I, I cannot stay in the Seven Eleven for sure because it's, it's it's a terrifying sound. I hate those. I hate those. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh yeah, imagine having to work here. Um, you know, at least if you worked in the BB gun, you shot. It's you could one try of the most um, touristy spots in Thailand as well. Oh, it's Pattaya. Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, yeah, it's it's a great city for the temples and uh, the other the other stuff. <laughs> But yeah, usually, usually the, uh, for some reason, there's something about those very bad uh, cables being near uh, kind of like coastal cities. I, I don't know why, but usually like the worst places are re regarding like these crazy cables are like in Phuket, in Pattaya, in Krabi, like those um, kind of uh, touristy uh, beaches and stuff. Yeah, got a tattoo place. Yeah, this uh, very like sort of commercialized area. I'm just <laughs> take a quick look at it. And um, the Royal Massage, the Ultimate A Go Go. <laughs> yeah, there's usually lots of STD tests uh, being sold. <laughs> like, so, yeah, you can you can I yeah. can imagine. 
Uh, I'll ignore that. Thank you, RC. <laughs> I just we're trying to educate the world on some of the, the delights of Thailand. Um, right, moving on to the next location. Um, so Thailand has uh, similar to the Philippines many concrete roads, but they're mostly uh, small side streets, not on main roads. Um, along with it, there are many holes in electricity pole. You see patterned concrete fences. Uh, I think I might be reading the wrong. It is a wrong location. One. Um, I'm having some deja vu here. Yeah, this is the <laughs> this, this is from a previous round. Um, I wonder if we do have a location for that. Um, might be we just got them mixed I up. I think I've copied something, some wrong link there. That's okay. We can just move on to the next one. It happens. There's, <laughs> as you guys can imagine, as we are. Uh, three hours and fifteen minutes in. There's a lot of links, <laughs> so it's quite easy to get uh, the those mixed up. But I think the the little kind of Buddhist temple link, the next one over, is correct. Um, so yeah, here's here's an example of a little shrine. Um, I, is this and uh, in the distance, there is uh, another pole with the holes. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, you got the uh, kind of the whole. Yeah, section. those are good. Yeah. Same. A little bit hard to see here, but that's that's some very good information in my opinion. Uh, if you if you move move a bit closer to the to the power pole, yeah, I'll try. You can see the the holes in the pole better. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I have I have heard of this uh, this little. Uh, piece of information before um, definitely worth keeping in mind. And then, is this what I mean? Is this somebody? Are these people's homes? Is this like somebody's garden, or is this like more of a yeah, public it's, space? It's, it's quite interesting. Garden, isn't it? uh, um, I'm not sure. Uh, there's too many little temples there to be like just some, just a single person, single yeah, family definitely. home. Yeah, it's quite interesting. I don't know what's going on there. Sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, me or yeah, and yeah. a long story. Yeah, well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and I know you guys mentioned the the kind of the roofs, kind of all very similar to uh, to one of those examples shared on the on the document earlier. Uh, definitely, kind of. Alive. They're pretty colorful as well. Uh, mm. Yeah, Thai houses tend to be very colorful. Okay, cool. So we're gonna have a look at some uh, taxis in Bangkok. Um, oh yeah, that's Chinatown. Yeah, um, you you can see how how the street signs are kind of fancy with uh, ornaments and stuff. Yeah, this is that's, exactly that's yeah, like you were saying. Yeah, quite interesting. Yeah, very, that's very that's classic cool. Thailand. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just like uh, uh, especially that uh, taxi in the front, the one that the top is is yellow and the bottom is is green i think that's kind of unique to bangkok i only saw those in bangkok um maybe a maybe a good thing yeah it's got some examples of the uh the electricity lines which makes working underneath mm. pretty miserable i can imagine um <laughs> uh, yeah is it yellow plates on taxis am i right in saying that yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah this is uh yeah, very kind of particular aesthetic to this to this street. Uh, these signs are very very unique and quite interesting. Um, and you know, yeah, so different strange. cities have different yeah yeah um, yeah really cool location. Um, right, moving on to so we've got a a rural uh, a rural road um, here. Um, yeah, talk talk me through it, guys. This is, uh, I guess, when when I always I always feel like when I end up in Thailand, I'm looking at these kind of locations. Um, feel they, that feel a bit more uh, rural for, for sure. Yeah, as you can see, the palm trees are higher, as in the in the Malay palm tree plantations. 
and you have a rather um i don't know how to say it a westernized architecture with the red roof mm. that you don't see that often in malaysia and indonesia yeah. and we kind of got uh, a little bit kind of sandy it's you know not got that kind of red soil um and it feels yeah, a little like you know, a little bit dry as as well. I see. Um, this well, you can see those white lines uh, when when the drivers are approaching a curve. I only see I only see see those uh, either in Thailand or the best roads in Cambodia. Yeah, uh, a little bit back. Yeah. Yeah, main uh, really main roads yeah. in Cambodia have them as well but very, yeah exactly suddenly so just the large ones there and in Thailand I think it's kind of like a unique to Thailand and and also it's not so common in Thailand as well it's like in the in the larger roads yeah and I guess something you know I'm just starting to pick up is now you know we're looking at these kind of rural roads there's maybe some um you know some similarities to cambodia but you know i'm noticing well the houses aren't on stilts like they might be uh in cambodia uh -huh. so that'd be that'd be that just that's popped into my head and in this location from what you guys are talking about that would be something i'd probably be thinking about if i got this in a challenge so yeah definitely an interesting uh, location so i'll just show this on the map quickly before we move on uh, also to differentiate from cambodia the house is on the side of the road didn't have stilts on it that was from there cool um so we're looking at the next location so this is a very mountainous uh in the northern part around <coughs> chiang mai Chiang mai uh, chiang mai yeah chiang mai okay um yeah this feels uh yeah very obviously mountainous but yeah quite lush uh and, and sort of foresty around here And you don't see the the typical Thai uh, red soil around the road because it's a mountainous road and such nicely paved with all the mountains. It's almost always the case in the north with a proper road, I'd say. No red soil, just um, lush mountainous. Doesn't look tropical at all. Yeah, definitely. Has some nice normal trees. And then just kind of give you, obviously, the mountains, mountains here everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, very, very mountainous. Yeah. Yeah, this whole yeah, it's called the northern region, and it's, yeah, I think the whole the whole this whole region is is fairly mountainous. Yeah, definitely. Um, you should see a little bit more on the, on the satellite there. So yeah, very mountainous around that region. That's near uh, Chiang Mai. Um, so if you're kind of feeling like you're on a mountain around that area, then it's something to consider. Um, so we've got hills uh, also in the south towards the Cambodian border, but obviously something you've mentioned just there, soil color. Uh, and this is way more red than what we've seen previously. It is, and it's a rather small mountain range, a range uh, on the Cambodian border. It and matches what we really saw in Cambodia, red... right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Really red soil, like in Cambodia, but it's it's mountainous. Also, those arrows, those um, yellow and black arrows, are only Thai. You don't see them in Cambodia. Okay. That's left right. hand drive as well whereas cambodia yeah. has right hand drive that's uh near the cambodian border oh, and somewhere the... in a national park or in the mountains around the the double-sided um the double they're double-sided as well which is uh interesting and you can yeah. see a typo yeah with the little yeah. holes yeah oh yeah there you go good shot And uh, some speakers. <laughs> what, what, what 
Why do you need speakers in the middle of a road? I don't know. I don't know what that would achieve. I wonder if it's like a. I wonder if it's like a warning maybe system. Maybe tsunami. For, I don't know. Yeah, some like a landslide. I don't know how. Something, maybe. Yeah. I don't know how close we are to the coast. Uh, not that close. Well, let's let's have a could be. Yeah, not that many earthquakes. Um, yeah, by the region, I would say it's probably to play some music. <laughs> oh, pie, drive yeah, pie. Rick Martin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so we've also got a location from the Southern Panhandle. Um, so uh, these are kind of different different looking mountains i mean uh you know the document says pointy and i think <laughs> this mountain is particularly <laughs> a description of that. Um, yeah quite different to what we what we've seen in terms of the other mountainous areas um i know there's a note here saying the definitely was... yeah that's that's on the road to kusamui phuket and those those areas in the middle of the panhandle I have quite some distinct mountains i think only in southeast asia more distinct are the northern vietnamese islands but those mountains uh yeah you only see them in in the southern half of thailand mm. yeah interesting let's have a look at that on the map uh yeah that's some very good advice from it yeah it's Otherwise, Southern Thailand, without this advice, can be very, very tricky sometimes. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I even guess down here all that often. Um, so yeah. Yeah, definitely, uh, you know, you're going to grab some points if you're if you're nailing these locations, hundred percent. If you if you find those pointy mountains, or if you find a white chicken starting with four, then 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 you can go there. Otherwise, maybe it's a little bit too risky. <laughs> Yeah, or if you see uh, just a car driving on the left side. Yeah. <laughs> um, brilliant. Uh, another location. So this is a distinct uh, highway uh, in the Panhandle, AH2. Um, and highway number two, that's uh, one of the main Asian highways, like the European E-Roads. Yeah. And that's in the flat part of the southern panhandle you see very straight highways are separated by a thick layer of grass yeah huh this is like a, a quite a unique looking kind of motorway sign um not seen anything like that in any of the other countries we've looked at so far um probably goes to show like how much of a main road you were just describing this being obviously with that kind of sign on it um and yeah tons of palm trees uh you know where they you know these are very different to say your palm oil palm trees are kind of you know a lot taller uh a lot more straight um yeah and, and of kind of a dark darker a tarmac on this route generation four straight almost straight north south highway that's southern thailand yeah, big old road, big boy road. Um, yeah, fascinating. And then there was one little note uh, on this to, to say, and I think this is really important. Uh, in general, the redder the soil, the more towards uh, Laos or Cambodia, the more tropical and lush it looks, the more towards Malaysia, which, yeah, that's a really good point to make. And I think that goes to show um, you know the the the, so the color of the soil often is something I think about uh, as a uh, shit tier neek, um, and that's a good differentiator of kind of placing where that kind of soil uh, kind of you find that, and obviously the the you know the more tropical it gets uh, and the more lush it looks, obviously you're coming further down here. Uh, to